So we're here at Embedded World 2019, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Krishna Kumar. Everyone calls me KK. I work in product marketing and microchip technologies, uh, FPGA business unit, and uh, we have our demo here of our next generation. My5, is that a, a microchip 5? Uh, it's, yes, it's a, My5 is a RISC-V ecosystem that Microchip has been working on to, to build around RISC-V and uh, to support uh, our products and what we're doing for the next generation as well. So you're doing a demonstration right here of some RISC-V. Um, so this is a Microchip chip, right? Yes, that is our Polar Fire FPGA. That's a low power, extremely secure FPGA from Microchip. And uh, what we have here is a RISC-V CPU. This entire thing is a development platform for our next generation FPGA SOC that's going to be based on a five core RISC-V CPU subsystem that's going to be along with a low power, secure and reliable FPGA fabric similar to the Polar Fire FPGA that's right here. So uh, Microchip has a long history of doing FPGA or new research? So Microchip or? recently acquired a company called Microsemi. So Microsemi has, uh, is the one that uh, has been working on FPGAs all, three, uh, all these years. And uh, how is the Microsemi FPGA in the market? So uh, Microsemi FPGAs, we focus on three main attributes and that's our key selling points. One is extremely low power. Our FPGAs are non-volatile memory based and uh, we focus on providing ultra low, pro low power FPGAs. Our FPGAs are also focused on security, the highest levels of security, DPA safe and uh, tamper proof security blocks are built into our FPGAs. And the third uh, best is safety and reliability. We are focusing on safety and safety critical applications and defense in aerospace. So our FPGAs are really popular there as so well. So right now you're just uh, plugging in the Sci-5 development board, uh, which is maybe uh, I mean, you just plug it into this board here, so, uh, but in the future it'll be on the SOC. Yeah, so the next generation FPGA SOC that we're working on is going to be called the Polar Fire SOC. So we're working with our partner Sci5 and took this board uh, from uh, Sci5, which is plugged on to the expansion board uh, made by uh, Microchef, which has the Polar Fire FPGA. Together, this emulates the performance of Polar Fire SOC. That, uh, that's what we're working on, and it's going to be launched soon. And what's the Hex 5? Hex5 is uh, one of our partners. Uh, we've been working with them for some time now. And Hex5 provides security solutions, and security IPs, and, and, and software. So what we have a demo here is for something that's very similar to a trusted execution environment. Typically, uh, in a trusted execution environment, you have two zones. One is a, a secure zone, and the other non-secure zone. With the power of uh, RISC-V uh, ISA, we are able to build uh, a security uh, features where you can have multiple level, multiple zones built into a single processor. So you can have uh, different uh, sources, your root of trust in one of the zones. You can have your network stacks in another, a crypto libraries in another. If you're picking up open source software from the, from the community, you can make that a zone. And all this is security protected. Each zone has its own defined security privileges, and it cannot uh, uh, hack into the other zone. Other. Yeah, so it has to go through a nano kernel that's really small. So all this is built into the RISC-V uh, subsystem that's uh, uh, on this demo. So those micro semi uh, uh, FPGAs have been using ARM on them too before, or we have used the ARM cores as well in the past, and uh, we in are the now future too. Uh, we may uh, we may or may not use, but uh, we are really working strongly with the Risk Five Foundation, and we believe in in, in uh, certain values that Risk Five Foundation has, and it uh, gives us a lot of value. So we will be working a lot with Risk Five Foundation. But uh, um, that requires kind of like a new ecosystem uh, of yes. uh, software, right? Yes, yes. Which could be a challenge. Oh, we have, we've been working on it for quite some time now, and there's a lot of interest that the Risk Five Foundation has created, and that's why we came up with this My Five Risk Five ecosystem. We are building a strong ecosystem around uh, Risk Five. So all these partners here, they're all eager to work on Risk Five. They have their software and, and tool chain, and even uh, more software, uh, some modules supported on Risk Five based solutions. And considering the amount of interest that we're getting, I don't see that it's a problem at all. But so there will be uh, Zephyr support. Yeah, we, uh, we support uh, Free Artos, Zephyr, Minute. It's all available. Imperaz is our partner, Express Logic. Again, uh, our process is supported on Risk Five CPUs. So this uh, Risk Five on this board, because it's one of the first ones, is is not very powerful, right? 
But uh, are, you, uh, are you saying anything about how powerful you're going to implement it here? And, uh... So uh, what we're going to implement is a five-core system. Four of those cores can run Linux, and this is going to run up to 600 to 650 megahertz each. Five core? Yes. And what? the fifth core would be a, a monitor core or a boot core, and it can handle specific uh, uh, functionality for, uh, for security purposes as well. And not just that, we've built uh, a large cache coherent, uh, L2 cache and L2 memory system, so you can implement uh, uh, deterministic RTOS running just alongside Linux as well. Deterministic? Yes, absolutely. So um, we have a few slides that shows the performance of determinism as well. We can achieve absolute determinism by uh, tweaking the performance of the RISC-V CPU, and you can really achieve determinism. What does it mean, the determinism? So you know exactly when a certain event is going to occur. So that's pretty much what determinism is. Usually when you're uh, using an operating system, uh, all your tasks are, are, are pipelined and you often have performance differences between, uh, uh, the, in terms of timing, you will have differences in performance. So this is a snapshot of how much uh, time it would usually take to come to execute an interrupt uh, service routine. Whereas in our system, uh, we are with a, a coherent cache, we are able to achieve the exact uh, same performance that slide back to you. Uh, All right, so, no problem. Yeah, so uh, we are able to achieve complete determinism with uh, while well, RTOS as well as so, operating. So system. the crucial consideration here is low power consumption. Low power, highly secure, and safety critical applications. That's our focus.